Well, hello everybody, here's an update. It is March 15th, 2023, and the rain just is starting to convert into a wintry mix. As you can see on the, on the hood, we're getting some grapple, AKA sleet, which is a big thing in this town. We get a lot of sleet up, uh, up here because of our elevation. It's usually right in between temperatures for uh, rain and snow. So um, yeah, this, this is what we got going on, but this is a wintry mix, sleet, and hail have nothing to do with each other. Completely different weather events. Um, if you guys like what I do, hit subscribe and like for me, please. I would really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, so so hail, you guys, is 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 only associated with thunderstorms and the updraft from the thunderstorms. Hail has nothing to do with winter weather. If if down the mountain it starts hailing, people feel like, oh my gosh, it's snowing type stuff out here. It's got nothing to do with winter weather at all. Hail, as I said, it has to do with thunderstorms and the updrafts. Um, it can it can hail when it's 100 degrees outside. But this is because there's different temperatures in the layers right above us in the atmosphere. And uh, it keeps like melting and freezing and melting and freezing. And then it ends up hitting us like this, like these little round, little icy snowy pellets. Hope everyone's doing well. Sorry about so many videos, you guys, but anytime things change up here, I like to update you guys. It's what I do. And we're gonna end up just driving through the village to get to get around, might as well. But yeah, literally, I thought I heard a little bit of sleet hitting the house, but when I went outside, I couldn't see anything. There wasn't any sleet, nothing like that. It was, it was just rain still, so I decided to go drive around um, and just see if I could catch anything. And what do you know? I finally did. So I thought I'd start the video for y'all. This is where we are at. This is really cool how the map kind of changed. It's really neat. It's totally different than it just was yesterday. And it's 38 degrees, 1.43 p.m. in the Big Bear area. And don't forget, guys, um, I'm, I, I've, I've been attaching links to um, Destination Big Bear's website. It's their giveaway link. And you just gotta put your email in, um, I believe Instagram, Facebook, um, to, to like it. And they're offering some, some pretty big prizes, you guys, like free, free vacations up here, free annual uh, passes for the ski lifts, um, and some other cool, awesome prizes for you guys. Once again, courtesy of Destination Big Bear, the owner, Nick, just seems like such a great guy. Seems like he puts you guys first, he puts you the tourist first. Um, which is very important to me because once again, I, I can't stop reminding you guys without you guys I don't get to live here. I'm not lucky enough to get to live here if you guys don't come up here and spend money So thank you guys Thank you guys very 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 much So yeah, uh, hopefully in the next couple hours the temperature will be falling and we will get all snow It's not gonna be for long you guys But it'll make me happy and I'm sure hoping it'll make y'all happy. If we got an inch or two, that would be great. Just to have a nice fresh layer of snow on top of all this icy madness. Is that a lightning bolt? No, that was the windshield wiper messing with me. like a news van. When you guys are driving on Big Bear Boulevard, you want to drive in this left lane because uh, the potholes are pretty remarkable on that side. I know they've been doing a lot of fixing lately, so thank you, thank you guys. But uh, there's a part of town in Big Bear City between Paradise and Maple Road, or Maple Lane, where it's, I mean, your car could disappear in, in in one of these potholes. It's that bad. Like this one right here, this is a mighty old pothole right there. But the right side is just even way, way worse. I know we're still hitting them on this side, but I'm just trying to save your car a bit, you guys. You'll, you'll, you'll still have to change all four tires after this lane. <laughs> Seriously, it's such a joke. Such a joke. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, so let me see exactly what is supposed to be happening regarding our rain and snow situation. Huh, I can't believe that. Things are changing again. Okay, so just in the past 30 minutes, it said something totally different. Now it's not looking like we could get any just straight snow. It's looking like in about an hour and a half, this whole system's supposed to start moving out. And uh, yeah, bummer. Seriously, what a bummer. I just want some nice snow just to top this off, just to, to to give me that feeling. I, I just love the feeling I get when it's snowing outside. It's just such a great feeling. We're gonna take the rush here, take this up by Summit, and then head back over to Moon Ridge. Ding 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 Moon Ridge. As I said, it's 38 degrees. We just had all sleet and grapple for a moment. And now it's transitioned back to rain. But as I said, I like to catch these things. I enjoy it. I'm obsessed with all of this stuff. I love the weather. So if we just keep on going to the end here, you will end up in the Snow Summit parking lot. As I tell you guys always, this is the exit for it, for the parking lot. I'm just gonna pull in just to see if we have a lot of people at the resort. Do not enter, okay, we're not gonna enter. It says exit only. So we're gonna turn left on Switzerland and then take this to Summit Boulevard. Ski resort is over there, right beyond these houses. Did a couple sleep pellets again. Look at that guys it went now it's all sleet now how crazy is that how crazy is that we're just gonna roll down the window and do a zoom in there's no one behind us and no one coming up well there are people skiing but it doesn't look like hardly anybody on the mountain nobody up there But it is open, y'all. You really have to be, you really have to be a diehard skier or snowboarder to want to be in these conditions. It's like water skiing. Temperature is still maintaining at 38 degrees. We are on Summit Boulevard. As I said, this is gonna be a short update. Just wanted you guys to, uh, to see what the heck is happening. Any little change? I love doing it for you all. But my luck that I was hoping for, as I said, I thought we were, we were going to be getting a little bit of snow. All snow for the last hour or so, but not going to happen. Some of the sleet pellets hitting the hitting the windshield. Cruise by, my brother, when you're done at El Pollo Loco. My wife.
wife is actually driving down to Orange County right now. She just sent me a message saying it's really rough on Highway 38, you guys. Rocks falling everywhere. Just not a fun situation, so I hope she's going to be okay. She will. She's she, she's very vigilant and good driver. But anyways, thanks, you guys. This is just a short update, as I said. The weather changed. It went from rain to a wintry mix. Love you guys. If you guys like what I do, hit like and subscribe. It's March 15, 2023, and share the videos. Please, thank you. I love you guys. Take care.